Hi and thanks for watching. So today I'm going to be unboxing some hair extensions from a brand called Goo Goo Hair Extensions. They reached out and asked if I would like to try out their brand and I of course said yes. So I have took the 22 inch tapes from their brand and this is in the shade T17 slash 22 p60 so they didn't have just pure platinum blonde so i took the mix but i will just dye them to match my hair in this video that you will see and i'm also going to show you how i put them in so this is the hair and how it looks once it's came out of the box so now i'm going to go and show you how i put the tapes in and show you the color that they are now that i have dyed them just about to go and put the tapes in I just want to say that I'm not a professional. I have done my own tapings and extensions for years. I've also had them done professionally before as well, but I find that I can do them myself. So if I can, I will. Uh, I just feel like it saves a little bit of money and there's so much tutorials on YouTube as well that you can follow and do them yourself. Obviously they won't be perfect, but like I say, if it saves a little bit of money, then that's fine. I actually dyed the tapes this morning because they didn't match my hair. I've recently just had my hair re like kind of relightened again at the top and I just dyed it so it's super white at the minute. So the extensions were slightly yellow toned compared to my hair. So I actually dyed them with the dye that I usually use on my hair and they came up really well. I would say my hair is still slightly a bit white compared to these, but within like a week of washing, it will completely die down and probably be this kind of shade. They have washed really well. I actually had a bad experience with some tapes last month and I didn't have a great time with the hair. I got new hair sent out previously and yeah, it just wasn't great, but I can already tell with washing these that they are good hair because the last time I had tapes, they were really frizzy, hard hair. They weren't great, but these are absolutely great hair. I can already tell. So they've just been air drying this morning. I'm going to go and give them a quick blast. I didn't dye near the tapes. I just kind of started from here and then worked my way down with the dye. So I'm going to give them a quick blast, a quick straight in, and then I'm going to put them in and show you how I put them in. Okay, so I have sectioned my hair. Excuse if I've got some yellow roots still. So I've sectioned my hair. I always leave a bit of hair at the bottom, but I never wear my hair up, so I don't care too much for leaving too much hair. So my first tape I usually put in is normally, I'll put one here and one here right at the bottom, the nape of my neck. So this is the tapes. All you do is, so, all you have to do is literally just peel the tape off and then I will place the sticky bit down, obviously. I will stick, I need to tie, hold on, I need to put this one, this bit up. Oh, so what I'll do is I will place it onto my hair like this, not too close to my root because I want to be able, I want it to be flexible. I'm really sorry if you can't see this very well, but obviously I'm trying to film this myself. Then I'll take the other tape off and then this one, you're going to hold it so like it's like this. And then what I'll do is I will lift this hair up and then sandwich it together. And then I'll just make sure to squeeze it together. So it can be tricky doing the very back, like myself. Um, like I say, it's not going to be perfect. I know that it won't be. And I don't know if you're not actually supposed to do this. Like I say, I'm not a professional, but I find with me, they seem to stay in better. If I literally just take my tape, my straighteners and melt the tape together and then that's the first one done obviously my sections aren't going to be super neat i am aware of that so then i'm going to go and put this one in here again the same as before i'll probably put this one like here get the other tape and stick it on as well so i'll go do the rest of my hair and then I'll come back and show you the finished results. The sides don't take me too long because I can see better what I'm doing there. It's all just a case of feeling what you're doing and weighing it basically. So again, I'll just pull that hair up. 
and then sandwich it sandwich it together like this so you want the tapes to be able to move in your head you don't want them tight to your scalp that's just going to cause irritation and that's not going to be great for you and then i just give it a wee squish and that's my first two in so now i'm going to go and do the rest i am just so pleased with how these have turned out so I will probably update you in like a vlog at some point how they're doing in the next kind of month or so. I feel like once you actually wear the extensions and over time you do kind of start to tell if they are like really good or not. But on first like impressions they are really good. Um, I'll just quickly show you the tapes in my head here. So as you can see they're here and yeah they've pretty much matched my hair pretty good. I'm also going to show you the back. I don't know how well you can see, but this is the back of the tapes as well. I'm going to be doing another video talking about different hair methods I've had in the past, what to avoid, that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for tuning in. I will link anything in the description box below. I'll also link Google here for you so you can check them out. Um, I don't have a discount code from them, but I will get in touch with them. And if I do have a code, I'll slip it in the box below. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.